Hi Cancerians, welcome to my channel. We're doing your December 17th to the 31st. There's a pre-shuffle, but so that I don't forget. Um, but I want you guys to have a wonderful, wonderful new year. It's December 17th. This hair is a little bit bothering right now here. Okay. <laughs> um, have a wonderful new year coming your way. It's the last of the bi-weeklies. Um, it's about time to celebrate life, Cancerians. Okay, here we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. In the pre-shuffle, there was a Two of Cups and a Death card. Take it as how, as how it is. Um, it's a Scorpio season. Of course, they're out there. Okay? <laughs> they're out there. Okay? So you'll be dealing with Scorpio, or it's also a transformation between you and this person as a Two of Cups energy is um, love. So death and rebirth process in love, meaning someone is falling in love. Here we go. <laughs> We're using tarot, cartomancy, and intuitive. Okay? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Oh, for people who's wondering about the cartomancy, this is the same as older. It's older than tarot, okay? If you guys are not familiar. Here we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's begin. Got the Princess of Cups. The Seven of Cups. Ooh, what happened, Concerion? What happened over here? It's a mess. It's a mess. Um, Prince of Cups, Seven of Cups, and the Three of Swords. Someone is hurting. Okay. Hurting, feeling that the other person, okay, this can be your other person, has options. Okay. <laughs> I see here it can be same sex. The other person is thinking, because the other person looks good and gorgeous. Okay. And the other person is just like, who am I? What can I do? Because <laughs> the Prince of Cups over here is like, they, they feel like I'm not being recognized over here. And this person is a lot of people around them. The Seven of Cups over there. They're probably attending parties and dealing with a lot of people. I don't know what they're doing. The Prince of Cups is clueless. So now it becomes Three of Swords, hurting. I feel like you're not with this person because the Princess of Cups is totally by themselves. <laughs> and Seven of Cups, oh, oh, the Three of Swords fell. And we know when it fells, we don't read it. We have to shuffle, guys. Let's see. Okay, so from a heartache, Okay, something is about to change. This is when, you know, in reality, in real life right now, what's happening is something is going on there that is changing. Let's see. What's... Uh, oh, oh, wow! Instead of hurting, someone finally decides to make an offer. Ace of Pentacles. Whoever was dating, other options, has choices. Someone is being singled out. And if it's MTV, it's called singled out. <laughs> Not sure how old are you, but you know, I never saw that. <laughs> Prince of Cups, Seven of Cups, or the Ace of Pentacles. Um, if you're dealing with someone who has multiple options or whatever, and they have a lot of dreams, for example, is if it's not options, um, they have a lot of things that they want to do. They only want to do one thing right now, and that's a commitment. Ace of Pentacles. Goodbye. Okay. Let's see here. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Because from a Seven of Cups, when you go and it escalated to an Ace of Pentacles, you're with someone who's ready to commit because they already explored whatever dreams, aspiration that they want in their life and now they walk. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Let's see. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. King of Hearts. Yeah, definitely. Could be dealing with... Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 <laughs> someone is scratching their head over here. They always do that. I'm not sure who that is, but I know. <laughs> And puzzled, the other person is puzzled. I feel the other person has already spoken about their feelings and the other person is trying to think, how do I express my feelings? Two people um, two people here, I feel. Love each other. Sincerely and dearly. Okay, let me see the other person. Nine of diamonds. Nine of diamonds. Single. Ready to give. Mm -hmm. I just got a text message. So, meaning that's a symbol for you. Okay, where that is. Single and ready to mingle, but they ain't mingling. They only want one person they want to commit again. Nine of diamonds. See, this thing keeps spinning. So someone is really trying to to work the situation out in a way that everyone wins. What does that mean? Because the nine wants to go to the ten of diamonds. They want to be a winner. Underneath the king of hearts. Oh, next up. Eight of hearts. Wow, look at that one. Eight of hearts for me is throbbing. Okay, throbbing meaning... It's alive. It's a. Some people can love you and never really feel anything. Okay, this is a love that you feel. It's there. Okay, and Eight of Hearts energy is like it's been going on for quite some time with you and this person. Both now. No, it's about to be spoken of. Someone is about to say it. Underneath the next to the Nine of Diamonds. 
king of clubs, which is a speaker of the house, okay? <laughs> the house of cards, okay? Because um, it's a speaker, okay? I don't know why, but someone is speaking, okay? And they're saying, I'm single and I'm in love. <laughs> I'm single and I like you. And the other person scratches their head because they don't want to say it, but they do. And the eight of hearts. Eight of clubs. They <laughs> so the other person is puzzled. Clubs from his learning experience. So they're learning that this person is crazy. I'm kidding. No, they're learning that this person is very expressive. They like to express themselves. And they're scratching their head because it's just like, I'm not... Okay, I know what that means. I'm not one of those who expresses it. But, you know, like, I have feelings. Whatever, Cancerians. Whoever this is, right? It's here. Next to the King of Diamond. The Sun card. And the Two of Spades. Can be a Leo you're dealing with or you're a Leo. Sun and Scorpio. <laughs> and a Leo rising. So the one who's overwhelming is this, the one who has the sun in the first house also. The saying also. Two of clubs, it says the other person's like, I'm learning also how to commit. <laughs> they balance the energy. It's cute, these two people. Hermit card, wow. The other person is looking at it like, okay, I understand that we have this spiritual union. The other person is understanding this now. I understand that you love me. I understand that you care about me. A lot of understanding, okay? This person understands a lot. Because the other person is just too much. Sorry. No. <laughs> See, what's the divide? This is the divide. Wow. Mm -hmm. The other person with the two of clubs energy over here, they're going to say it's like, it's your call. Ace of clubs. So the other person leaves the offer on the table, which is ace of pentacles, right? I put the offer right there. Let's see if it's going to be accepted. Because the offer is just, it's just sitting there. It's just there. Okay. It, opportunity, it's just there. Someone just said that too. Mm -hmm, whatever that means. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I will see you guys again. Have a wonderful, wonderful end of the year and start of the year. Link down there in the description box for extended. Um, there's a tarot class um, also there. There's a 2019 prediction for each zodiac. Link is down there. Stay awesome, Cancerians. And I always love my Cancerians because they're all, I'm always around Cancerians. All right? Bye, guys.